Hello friend, welcome back. So in this video, let's create our first Mac OS app. Okay, so previously, every project, every app we created is iOS app. It's an iOS app. It, it will be, it can be run, run it can be run on the iOS simulators, or it can be loaded to our like iPad or iPhone. But today we'll try to create an app which can be run right directly on the Mac. Let's get started. So Xcode. Yeah, create a new. Create here, right? Create new project. Okay. Oh, I just double click that. Okay. So every time we we use this one iOS app. So today we'll use Mac OS here. This guy. Instead of iOS, we'll use Mac OS, okay? App. Next. So that's what about this? Our first Mac OS app and uh, yeah interface we still use we still use storyboard here and language sweet that's it next and uh, yeah I'll put it under my temp directory here together with the other previous iOS projects Great. Okay. Now, um, we are using the same language, programming language, Swift, but we are building the syntax and the library. Um, it's a little bit different from the iOS app. Okay, so let's see the files here. app delegate view controller yeah we have view we have view controllers in ios world similarly and the main storyboard here oh now it looks different here let's make it a little bit bigger here right it's not a template a, a simulator template here is like that and uh, okay so here I think yeah there's nothing else just my app right my Mac let's run it to see what we have now command R oh it's like that you see a resizable I guess window here okay so let's stop it and run again okay cool so we have an empty so let's draw right let's draw a, a single line on this window so to get a feeling of the coordinate system of the window okay so this the concept is similar we needed to create our a view file and draw on that so that's right click here new file and coco class yes mac os coco class next so we'll use our you see here it's not ui view so all the class, almost, I, I don't know, but basically the corresponding uh, class name here is NS something. NS stands for next step. That's the company name of, of Steve, yeah, uh, Job Steve's, yeah. Steve Jobs, uh, original. Uh, software company next step 
next step. Uh, okay, so class. What about um, board view? Okay, or canvas view? We'll draw canvas view here. Next, create. So uh, similarly, we can move it right up and down and put it here. So drawing code here. Yeah, this looks uh, similar. Uh, draw, okay. Now we, we can go back to main storyboard and we'll grab here. This is the view. Uh, this is the view you see here, this is the default view inside our window view controller. So we'll grab another view here. Uh, where is the view? This time, instead of searching UI view, right? Like before, we search this in our iOS app. So now everything is NS something, NS view. Custom view, okay? So custom view, drag and put it here. Like that and uh, let's use this so this is a view we cannot set the background color here you see so if we run it now command R I guess this view the view the custom view is inside this window and it's transparent so we cannot see anything okay now let's change its background color in code okay so with that select we need to s set its class to our view right not an s view so canvas view do we have a canvas view here let's type it right c yeah canvas view enter let's run it i think it's still yeah, nothing here. We need to put some code inside the canvas view here. Drawing code, yes, drawing code. So now remember, um, the bounds is the is the rectangle of our full view. So it means this bound is a rectangle like like here so we can simply call dot fill like that using the default color what's the default color black okay run it <laughs> yes okay so mm, it is cool right so let's just use use the background color uh, black okay let's try to draw our first line here to get an understanding of our new coordinate system so in ios world the origin is here so going right is the x like 0 1 2 3 4 100 200 something right and going down is the y one two three four positive positive like 100 200 but now in this mac os world they changed the origin to here the bottom left of the view of the current view so here is zero 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 comma zero so going right is the same the x one two three four five like 100 200 and 300 so going up is the positive now for y zero one two three four right and uh, 100 200 positive let's verify that okay so let's create our pass now it's not the UI Bazier path, it's NS Bazier path. You see that? 
and the past dot move to same thing opening parenthesis the, this time let's use okay CG float okay HCG float or maybe you can use double yeah let's try double uh, let's draw a line from 0 0 to the diagonal okay the, the diagonal from this point to the top right corner so pass so instead of add the line to that's what we used in this is what we used in iOS word here is the syntax change the there's no add line to line to <laughs> okay and that's point so double no double no X yeah let's use this one so what is that's yeah so we'll try that next so let's put it like uh 200 100 okay so to be clear 200 and uh, 100 i guess it should be here right going up uh going to the left 200 and going up 100 it should be a line like that like that that a straight line okay let's stroke it pass dot oh Pass dot stroke. Yeah, can we run it? Sure, run it. Surprise, nothing because the default color is black and the background color is that. Okay, so what color should we use? Of course, of course, white, right? You oh, NS color now instead of yeah, everything is NS white. No, sorry ns color dot white dot set stroke yes now let's see cool right our understanding is verified yes starting from zero zero to 200 and 100 yeah now let's try to draw a diagonal from here to here okay uh, yeah so using a, a different color, okay? So that has to diagonal, diagonal, no, it's like that, diagonal, okay? Um, and as for the pass like that so diagonal dot move to now this point okay this point this point that point is x is zero right why what is y bounds dot hide right bounds dot height here is the y zero of y and here is the bounds dot height okay diagonal dot line two enter opening parenthesis x we use double so what is the x here here bounds dot x right oh bounds dot width sorry Bounds dot width. Okay, y zero, right? Now let's use a, a different color. So that can we use color little? Color little? Yes. Color little dot set stroke. Uh, white this time. Let's use a red one to make it strong. Okay and the diagonal dot line width do we have that yes equals three and the diagonal dot stroke let's see run it wow three three is so thick okay um cool that's our first mac os app that's great
Okay, so thank you for watching. See you next time.